Here's how I made this photocopy effect here in Photoshop. This is my artboard size. And I'm gonna go with this model as a reference. I'm gonna leave a link in the description where you can download the image. Because I zoomed in the image, I don't wanna apply the effect on the full picture like that. So I'm gonna press Ctrl A to select all the image, press Ctrl C and then Ctrl V. So this way it created a new layer with only this cropped version. And I'm gonna delete the original, delete the background as well, right click on the image, convert smart object. Now let's go to the filter, blur and select motion blur. Make sure that the angle is on zero. And with the distance, I gotta go with some around 600. I gotta go with 500, click okay. Now let's go and select the smart filter at the layer. And let's go and select the brush. Make sure that you're on the black. I right click on the image and I'm gonna decrease the hardness to zero, increase the size quite a bit. And I'm gonna start removing the effect from the left side until her face is going to be slightly revealed. You also can select the layer, press Ctrl J to duplicate. You can double click on the motion blur, increase it, for example, 800, click OK. And you can go to blend mode and switch it up, for example, on lighten. So it's gonna give another interesting effect. You also can decrease or increase the opacity. So anyways, I'm gonna select both layers, press and hold shift select both, right click, convert a smart object. Now let's go to the filter, filter gallery, Go to sketch, let's select the graphic pen. The light and dark balance is gonna be at 50 and you can go adjust the stroke length, increase it or decrease. Now let's go down here, click on the plus to add another filter and we're gonna select the half tone pattern. Let's change the pattern time from dot to line and increase the size. I gotta go with three and you also can increase the contrast. I gotta go with 20 this time. Now let's go down, click on the plus again. Let's go to the texture, click on the grain to add grain. You can increase or decrease the intensity. I gotta leave it like this, click OK. And that's how you make this photocopy effect with lines here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.